let him go. Okay, so when they're getting ready to go, as soon as you feel their hips lift, be aware of the sensation you have down by your legs. As soon as you're feeling their hips lift, you pop up to that foot to let them go. Right here, you're mentally broken. But I like, Sam tall, hands on you. First off, just letting everything fully expand. You, your lungs cannot fully expand down in that contracted position. This, I'm tired. This, I'm tired. This, I might be tired, but they don't know that. I'm gonna feel it, dude. Right? Because even like, you know, if you go to, because again, some of you guys are competing at some point, and if you guys go out and compete, again, this is just, it's a muscle memory. If your muscle memory is this, I'm tired, well then when, like, if I'm getting ready to go against Matt, I see Matt curled over, my lungs can be burning, my forearms can be rolled over, but I'm like, oh, look, he's tired. Like, and this has happened before. I've had like overtime matches where I'm literally, my hands are curled over, I, I, I got up and I'm like burning. I look over, that dude's like, and I'm basically like, I'm start, I start doing laps around him. I'm, like, I'm ready to go, right? So don't ever just, don't ever show it. Yeah. Even if, you, uh, if you're watching like YouTube one day, you know what I'm saying, you see a cold move. Like, and you're like, hey, shoot, what is this? We can I break see, it down. I have some messages on that, but you don't have a response. Well, you haven't been here. I've been like since I need to go. It's been two years ago. No. All right, guys. Good work today. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. Finally. Thank you. Huh? Really did. Huh? I really did send you a message. You wanna go get drunk, bro? You want you wanna get messed up? Hey bro. Hey girl. You wanna go full on? Hey girl. What's up guys? So today I figured we would take you guys along and um I've talked, I think in a couple of the videos, I've talked about a story where um, when I was a kid, I got jumped right outside of my house. Um, I didn't grow up in a good area. And so I figured what we would do today, because I got a free, a little bit of free time, we uh, we just got done filming some stuff for our Fundamentals Vault that's gonna be released uh, soon. I figured I would just take you guys to where I grew up, show you the spot, and um, kind of go from there. So uh, that's where we're headed, and we'll go from there. Where I grew up as a kid. Yeah. Big pack. Old grocery store. I went in there and it like a couple years ago and it was like exactly the same. To Louisville, that used to be a barber shop when I was a kid. My my grandfather, one of his old war buddies, he uh he would he would get his hair he, that's where I'd get my haircut, he was down there. So when I was a kid, I used to get dropped off by the bus, right? here on this corner. Now, when I would get dropped off, I would walk across, and this is where I, I got jumped. I would walk across to my house. Now, I got jumped right here, and my house is right there, where it was. I want to go in the back and look around. So, I don't really want to go out and jump into people's yards, because I don't know them. Um, but, this is the back of the house I used to live in right here. Right there. Huh. And they didn't have this fence here at the time, but I remember this is this little fence here. This is the block where I remember when I started working out, I would run laps around this block because I, I was scared, nervous or whatever, because I got to jump right after my house. This right here, there used to be a uh, it used to be a, a small little car car lot. And then, they, then there was they just closed it down. But basically, right here, I was jumped right, like right here on this this little street right here. And what had happened was, is I was walking down, um, walking down the street, and I was there. And what basically what happened was, I was being followed by these three guys, these three guys, whatever. And I remember, like, I look back, and I kind of had a weird feeling. I didn't know what the feeling was. You know, I would now I kind of know it's my gut instinct. Something's wrong. 
but I walked all the way down. I started kind of jogging, they jogged, and then eventually I got right there. I turned around and I just looked at them and I said, what's going on guys? And one of them pop, popped me right in the nose. And I remember I fell back and I remember seeing blood just squirt out of my nose. I remember that, that image vividly and I laid down and one of the dudes hit me with a bat um, these guys are like 16 to 18 years old. I'm like, I'm in like seventh grade. I'm like 11 or 12 or something. It's fucking crazy. And then my neighbor uh, at the time, whoever lived here at this last house, I didn't really know the guy very much, um, but he came out and like kicked one of them away. They ran off. We called the police. They came up and got him. But that experience really fucked me up because like, you know, my house is right there. I was walking home from school. And so I used to ride my bike. I used to go everywhere. We used to walk everywhere. Um, and then after that, I didn't do much of anything because I was scared, man. Like, I didn't want to walk around or do anything. So I remember when I started running laps in the morning, um, I remember when I would, I would literally, because this is the block, right? I would get out and I would do laps. I remember um, going around the building and I would like just, just run laps around the, or not the building, but the block. And I would just run as fast as possible because I was like, oh my God, I'm so nervous or whatever. Um, and then you can't see it because all the shrubbery is overgrown, but across the street there, um, there is a multi-family uh, housing area there and on the bottom floor it was me my mom and my two sisters and we lived in an apartment that was probably about 600 square feet um, I slept in a reclining chair my mom and them slept in the, the bedroom they slept in a bed together and we didn't have a phone we had a black and we had like a little bitty like 11 inch black and white TV for the longest time um, and that's where we spent our first years together, like when my mom was getting off alcohol, because she basically she was an alcoholic, and then she got off of it, and she you know got her stuff together, and that's where we started off. And then our landlord, his name was Mr. Mattingly. That dude was such a nice guy. He like really, it, you know, it's one of those things where you remember these guys. He was really helpful. He basically was like, hey, I've got this house across the street that might be better off for you guys. And we were on section eight and he accepted it. And so we went across the street and my mom was really big on taking care of the houses, you know, because she was like, he was, he was helping us out. So we went there and we lived there for a number of years. And that's, uh, that's where we lived before my mom bought her first house. Um, this little area that we're in, it's kind of weird because if you go like that way just a little bit, you're in Churchill Downs and stuff like that. And if you go that way, you're like into some housing projects and stuff like that. There's a park right down the street that I always wanted to go to, but my mom wouldn't let me go because she said that she said there were people were up to bad stuff there. And eventually she told me that they were selling drugs and stuff. So we weren't allowed to go down there. Um, but yeah, this is. This is where I grew up as, as a kid. We used to, oh, and some of you guys may not even know this. This is funny, because in this little parking lot here, I got a big old, you can see how my lip, if you look at it, right? There's a little bump here on my left uh, side of my lip. We were in this parking lot throwing rocks at each other, and one of the rocks went right through my lip, cut it all the way through. So, yeah, this is uh, this is where I grew up. Shrubs, like all this used to be a lot nicer back in the day, because basically all these houses, like old people lived in them, and when the old people sold them, um, you can see they could board it up and stuff, they, uh, they just don't take care of them. There's the beer depot. <laughs> so my family, all of them had a little, they all liked to drink a little bit, and the beer depot was where I used to spend some time down there. Um, because back in the day, it used to be legal for the kids to go out and just hang out at the bar. So we'd be down there, like, hanging out and stuff. This area used to be really nice. My grandfather's house right there. He originally bought it, and he fixed it up and dumped a bunch of money in it. Here, this was a comic book store back in the day. This used to be called Kids. It was a comic book store, whatever. Um, and I used to go up there every Friday because that's where I would get my allowance. And I would go up and go up there and buy comic books. Um, I had some really good ones, like the, the, the first edition of Wolverine and stuff like that. I'd save up and bought them and everything else. And then when I was like a little bit, a little bit older, like the, uh, my comic book collection, water got into it, just destroyed everything. I was more of a Marvel guy, you know, like Wolverine back in the day. Grew up watching X-Men as a kid. But if you go like just a, like a couple miles up the street, you come to 7th Street, which is nothing but strip clubs. There's a sign somewhere around here that says, uh, welcome to the business district of Lowell. People used to get jacked at that car car wash all the time. My mom, I remember one time we like, we were gonna stop and use that car wash. We were like, oh, she's like, we can't stop at that one. I'm like, why? She's like, that's the one that people get robbed at. I'm like, oh, cool. So we'd always like drive somewhere else. Uh
happened in this place right here, Expo 5, they host a lot of fights, uh, local fights. And so I've had a few of my MMA fights there uh, over the years. My mom, I remember, we would always have these terrible cars because, you know, she didn't have a lot of money. Um, I remember the worst one we ever had was this station wagon. Only door that worked was the back hatch. So I remember, like, whenever we would get in the car, we would always have to, like, pile in from the back. So she would have to crawl in and, like, put, you know, put my sisters in there and we'd all have to crawl over each other. We wouldn't got groceries. We'd have to put the groceries in and, and crawl over top of each other. The windows didn't really roll down. So it was summer and we were just, like, getting beat up by the, the heat. It was brutal. You know, but it was just, it's what you got. It's, it's all, you know, it's all we had at the time. To her credit, she, you know, she dug herself out of a hole. That was something I always, like, admired about her, you know what I mean? Because she, like, she screwed up a lot, but she, she, she pulled it together. Hmm, the Thoroughbred Lounge. Again, there's probably, like, I don't know how many there is. There used to be, like, 15 or something strip clubs and adult stores, like, along this, like, two miles stretch of road. It was ridiculous. And liquor stores, of course, because you need liquor and, uh, liquor and, uh, <laughs> strip <laughs> clubs. <laughs> oh, man. So when we were passing by the strip club, there was a sign that said, now hiring substitute teachers. <laughs> Is that a thing? Like, do, do substitute teachers moonlight as, uh, as, uh, as strippers? All right, guys, so that's the end of this vlog. This one's probably going to be a little bit shorter. Um, but again, I just wanted to share that with you. So if you guys watch stories of me talk about where I grew up and um, where I got jumped and all that stuff, because it was a pretty impactful thing that happened. I think it's one of the reasons why I'm here today. Um, that's where it happened. Again, not the worst area or anything like that, but it's not a not a great area. Um, but that's where I grew up at. And um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog that we did. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.